With the global pandemic, we know that vitamin D deficiency is super important that we take care of this deficiency to protect ourselves. And how do you know that you are vitamin D deficient in the first place? Well, today I'm gonna tell you 14 signs of vitamin D deficiency. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor and researcher. And I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Also click that bell and give me a big thumbs up on this video and stay tuned right until the end. So the 14 signs of vitamin D deficiency, sign number one is a weakened immune system. So susceptibility to infections is very much correlated to a vitamin D deficiency, especially upper respiratory tract infections. And we know that COVID-19 and the correlation with and the people struggling with upper respiratory tract infections and a cough is of utmost importance. So this is probably number one on my list to absolutely make Make sure that we are taking care of that vitamin D deficiency to protect our lungs, but to protect our immune system in general. Sign number two is fatigue. So if you have low energy and you are lethargic and you simply, because of a vitamin D deficiency, just don't have that energy, this could be definitely related. So again, make sure that you are having your vitamin D levels checked to ensure that you don't have a deficiency. Sign number three is low mood. So we know that going into, especially living here in Canada, seasonal affective disorder is a big thing amongst Canadians and also if you live in temperate climates away from the equator, that lack of sunshine and that lack of vitamin D, because again, our skin makes that vitamin D from the sun, that lack of that vitamin D is very much related to the vitamin D receptors in our brain. And if they're simply not uptaking that vitamin D, this has a lot to do with our feel good hormones. So things like serotonin and our dopamine. So really important if we want to have good mood, especially throughout our long winters, that we are fixed Fixing that vitamin D deficiency. Sign number four is weight gain. Yes, you can gain weight and be overweight if you're vitamin D deficient. And this has a lot to do with calcium metabolism. We know that when we're in a calcium deficient state internally. This has a lot to do with our metabolism of our carbs, our fats, and our proteins. So it's important, again, for keeping a healthy body weight that we have enough vitamin D. Sign number five is muscle and bone pain. So this is interesting and this made me really look at the research and I was curious about statin drugs and we know that statin drugs are used for lowering cholesterol levels but we know also that cholesterol is something that's needed in order for our body to make vitamin D from the sun. If we are lacking in cholesterol then we could potentially have a vitamin D deficiency and in a more recent study which we can see here in 2019, researchers found that there was definitely a correlation between vitamin D deficiency and statin-induced musculoskeletal pain. So this is something, again, putting two and two together, and that's often, you know, in my patients, one of the biggest side effects why some of my patients can't even take statins is that they have a lot of muscle pain. So again, food for thought, something to think about. Sign number six is reduced endurance. So this is important for anybody who exercises and if you're at the gym, you're working out and you just find that your endurance, and I find this is especially true in you know friends and family that I talk to who work out, especially in the winter months, is that people start to suffer and they seem like, oh, I just don't have that, you know, enough stamina and energy. They have much more stamina for their workouts in the summertime. And again, that correlation with vitamin D deficiency is certainly a possibility. So sign number seven is hair loss. And this is something that I actually learned from a patient of mine years ago. And she worked in a hair salon as a hairstylist. And she said that it was just commonly known in the industry that in fall, that's when your hair falls out. Well, I didn't put two and two together until I really did the research on vitamin D, knowing that yes, in fall here in Canada, again, in a temperate climate, we don't live close to the equator, that yeah, fall and going into winter, we have lack of sunshine, now lack of vitamin D, and that's when typically our hair falls out or can fall out. So again, if you're wanting to have a nice, you know, mane of hair and healthy hair, make sure that you are checking your vitamin D status and keeping your vitamin D levels up. 
Sign number eight is leaky gut syndrome. So I've talked about this a lot in other videos. You can check those out. And a study has actually shown that GI distress and leaky gut syndrome can very much be related to a vitamin D deficiency. And in this study, what they found is that the tight junction. So vitamin D and the vitamin D receptors have a lot to do with maintaining those healthy tight junctions in the gut and that's important to ensure that we have proper digestion. In leaky gut syndrome, what happens is that those tight junctions open up for a variety of reasons. One of those may be a vitamin D deficiency. So make sure again that you are topping up your vitamin D, especially in the winter months. Sign number nine is brain fog. So if you're, yeah, again, that brain is not making those neural connections and you have difficulty maybe memorizing or maintaining proper mem memory, especially as you're aging, this can again be related to a vitamin D deficiency. Sign number 10 is sleep disorders. So difficulty sleeping, again, we know that vitamin D has a lot to do with making sure that our calcium goes to where it needs to go and helps with calcium metabolism, that sleep disorders and secreting enough melatonin at, during sleep is very much reliant on having enough calcium, but also vitamin D as well to ensure of its absorption. So sign number 11 is a sweaty head. So if you perspire really easily, or maybe this happens a lot in children, and often pediatricians will ask for this as a symptom in children, if there's a lot of perspiration on the head, this too can be related to a vitamin D deficiency. And it has a lot to do with calcium metabolism, which is something that I learned way back in, you know, when I was studying to become a naturopathic doctor. And, you know, that correlation definitely is there. So if you sweat easily on your head, just pay attention to your vitamin D levels. Sign number 12 is slow wound healing. So we know that vitamin D receptors are in so many cells of the body, but in our skin cells as well. So really important if, you know, you maybe you cut yourself and that, that cut doesn't heal very easily, this too could be related to a vitamin D deficiency. Sign number 13 is dizziness. So again, vitamin D deficiency, especially, you know, if you're noticing that you, you have dizziness, this is related to the inner ear and the calcium stones that are in the ear and a vitamin D deficiency. I know, again, going hand in hand with calcium metabolism could be related to your dizziness. So make sure that you're having this checked. And sign number 14 is heart problems. So yes, vitamin D deficiency and cardiovascular health are very much related. So this is something, again, in our current times with COVID-19, the pandemic, that we have to make sure, again, in terms of the health of our internal organs, that we're doing everything to protect ourselves and topping up our vitamin D levels. So to wrap things up, in my opinion, it's very simple. Make sure you're getting enough vitamin D and maybe you have to go to a supplement to make sure that you're topping up your levels. Food sources are difficult to get enough absorbable vitamin D from, so you can check out my other video on that. But thanks for watching today. I really do appreciate this. And you know, if this video did help you to learn something new today, please give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all of your messages and leave me a comment or if you've got a question or you've got an idea for a future video, I would love to hear from you. And if you know someone, you know, that this information may help, please share this video with them so that they can get this wonderful information as well. I'll see you next time. And remember to always take care of your good health and do it naturally.